and welcome to Happy Fisherman Adventures, episode 18. I hope, I dream, I wish to catch a big fish. And I do it when I can. I'm a happy fisherman. And I do it when I can. I'm a happy fisherman. In this episode, we are going to show you what happened on the 29th, the 30th and the 31st of December 2021. Yeah, the first video is adventure with my friends uh, Blaja and Vanya, who do own a boat and they wanted just to get some tips of catching fish in Port Philip Bay. I know Blaja since 2000s when I had a studio recording and, you know, photo video and music studio in Clayton. And we did go fishing even back then on my boat and got some snapper and all that sort of stuff. But um, this is Adventure 20 years later. Let's watch this video. Enjoy. This adventure from 29th of December 2021 was with my friends Blaja and Vanya. We were on our way to our standard destination, which is St. Leonard's. Along us, Will with his nephew. The water was good, so Will enjoyed some fancy movements with his stubby craft. First stop, as usual, is the ground at Prince George Marka, chasing some squid for fresh bite. Few tips and the boys were already getting results. This time, Hiramitsu IR22 jig was the winner. The squid was not that big, but it was great for fresh bite. Quite quick, we managed half a dozen and the boys were very happy. Then it was time to move and hit the King George grounds at St. Leonard's. As we got there, we'll start setting up his cameras on Royal Blaza arms that he got just the day before from Sea Heights Smith Marine. The cameras were on and we were on. Blaza managed to get very quick our first fish. It was a slimy mackerel, then we end up with few flatheads. Then we start getting some banjo sharks and so on. On the other boat, Will and his nephew end up getting benches as well. Somehow this spot didn't work for me, so I decided to move. Around here you don't need to move much, sometimes 20 meters is enough. And this time, different story. We start getting some King George whiting. In meantime, my Facebook friend Joey and his family came past to say hello. Thank you. 
I told him to fish next to us, but he was not fishing today. Instead, he actually took his family to West Channel Marka so kids can see the seals. Under the boat, lots and lots of yakas, yet somehow we did manage to catch King George Whiting. No long after, Will was on something quite big. This thing, it was taking line like no tomorrow. It was going all around the boat. Definitely was a big fish for that snapper rod that he had, but five minutes later he managed to get it to the top. It was massive skate, so called diamond ray. A bit of excitement and it was time to cut the line. In the meantime we were still catching King George Whiting. Best rig for them was really sting an oster rig, loaded with a piece of squid and a bit of pilchard and that did all the damage. Just a meter above the ground, tons of yakas were passing by, and we did get quite a few of them on the top hook of our paternoster rig. Along us, another few friends were fishing in this area. Slowly the water started to cap a bit, so we decided another 30 minutes and then we'll head back. We actually did the right today, we managed quite a few King George Whitings, few yakas and half a dozen squid. Blanja and Vanya, they do have a boat and apparently today they learned a lot, so I can't wait to see the results. Time, it was time to pull the pin and head back. Another beautiful adventure with my friends. I just wanted quickly to answer a technical question that someone asked me on actually social media and that is how do we attach our GoPro cameras to our boat and sim simple answer is we're using this system which is designed by Railblazer it's actually a New Zealand company and I got my obviously my gadgets through Sea High Smith Marine um, you can go and see Shino Adam and he'll take you through all the range of this gadgets that actually they all clip on you can clip on stuff you can actually attach cameras it's it's just amazing system so um, we will have a full video or full episode on how to film your own video the very next video is from the 30th of december as we were going to celebrate the new year's eve at Ovis and liliana's place in ocean grove we took our boat with us so enjoy the next video enjoy on the 30th of December 2021, we decided to have the New Year's Eve party at Ovis and Liliana's place in Ocean Grove. Since it was a nice day, around 3 p.m. we ended up at St. Leonard's having some fun on the water. TB started setting up the cameras and in no time we started catching fish. There were lots of slimy mackerels, just a few meters under the surface. In meantime, 
Ovi was on a nice King George riding. As he had it at the boat, he grabbed the line to lift it, and that's when he lost the fish. That split of a second when the line was slack, it was enough for the fish to spit the hook. In the meantime, I managed to get some yakas as well. This time we were using small pieces of flathead fillet for bait. And the fish was just a meter of the bottom. On the other side of the boat, Liliana had fun getting few slimies and yakas. Fun, that's what it was all about. When we got home and checked the underwater footage, there were millions of yakas passing by. And what do you know? Persistence paid off. Oivy was trying hard to get the King George writing and finally he got the nice one. This time he actually used the flex in the rod to lift it in the boat. As that was happening, another surprise. I managed to hook an octopus. Definitely my first octopus ever. The net wasn't ready, so TB just grabbed it without a handle and with a bit of stretching his arm, he managed to get it in the net. The hookum landing net that we use is great, but when we fish these grounds, we normally don't need a net, so that's why we didn't have it handy. It was time for a few snapshots and then back in action. Yakas and slimies were coming from all sides of the boat, sometimes even flathead. Later on, we started getting some Tommy Ruff, and all I can say, there is always lots of fish around St. Leonard's. After a few hours of fishing, it was time to go to the West Channel Marker, or so-called White Lady, and observe the seals. The very last video for today is from 31st of December, before getting ready for a New Year's Eve celebration. We did a quick session on chasing snapper. Yeah, this time we actually took off early, and went straight in 22 meter depth, straight out of St. Leonard's. Sometime actually pays off to get up early. It does. Enjoy the next video. It is 31st of December, and this time we were serious. Meaning we left Auction Grove at 5 am, and we were on our way to chase some snapper. We launched at St. Leonard's just on the sunrise and all I can say, it was beautiful morning. Since my friend Bernard managed few big snappers out deep towards Mount Marta, that was our destination.
the bay was flat, so we were doing 50 kilometers per hour, and it will take us 25 minutes from St. Leonard's to actual our destination. This time, Ovi was getting the hook and landing net ready as he was confident that we're gonna get some fish. As we got there, quite a few boats around. Thanks to my Lonster winch, I quickly dropped the anchor down and we were getting the roads ready. In the meantime, we had a beautiful view of Spirit of Tasmania passing by. No even 10 minutes in and we were on our first fish. By the head shakes, we knew it's a snapper. And this time it was on a single really 6 or circle hook loaded with a yucca fillet. Mima was filming all his face expressions while I was ready to land the fish. The trick is to have the net ready in the water and Ovi will just guide the fish in it. Man, this is big. I just, I don't, I lost touch to be honest. I lost touch. Tibi, you got it right, man. <laughs> wow. Tibi, this, Mima, this is big fish, not the, what they got. Oh, and only a little bit too. Yeah. How lucky are you? When I looked at the hook, Ovi was a bit lucky here, as this snapper was hooked only on the bit of a skin on top of his mouth. Then it was time for some pictures. And not long after, Mimo was on another snapper. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, That's my first snapper this year. You normally see Mima catching lots of fish, but last day of 2021, this was her first snapper for that year. She would normally be either filming or netting the fish. Well, this time she was in action. This fish did put up a nice fight, but after 5 minutes it gave up and we landed another great fish. This one was on double snail setup and it took a full pilchard. The hook this time did penetrate the jaw, so this fish didn't have much chance to get away. Again, it was photo time. After that, we tried for another 20 minutes, but not much luck. So, it was time to go back. On the way out, we stopped at St. Leonard to see if King George Whiting is playing the game, but no luck. Lots of yakka, Tommy Ruff and an odd squid around.
Then it was time to go back to Ocean Grove and get ready to celebrate. We were waiting for the new year to take over. Happy 2022, everyone. Before we go, I would like to say thank you to all the people that purchased the, our cool Sublim t-shirts from our website. Thank you for your support. <laughs> and thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Cheers. I hope, I dream, I wish to catch a big fish. <laughs>